arrived in Grassmere, taking Isla out for a walk. We're just heading up to East Bell Town, one of my favourite places. For a bit of a, a chill out day. I haven't really had a day off for a, quite a while. And it's stifling my creativity a little bit. I always find in those situations the best thing to do is take a day off and just chill out a little bit and uh, get your mojo back. Up the side of the waterfall there's a footpath that goes up and onto the top and that's where the tar or the lake is. I have to keep Isla on a lead this first part. At the moment she's stopping to smell all the foxes and different smells. It's driving me a bit mad. But um, hopefully once you come through this part with the sheep and the cows then I can let her off. But you're not allowed to let them off the lead on this part. But all the other sheep are in the field. And we seem to have one escapee. They've only recently been sheared ready for the summer weather. They're looking a bit naked at the moment. He's got his ears tagged little blue clips and he's also got uh, some red to show who he belongs to. But I think he's escaped, he's not supposed to be out here. We've got a slightly better view of the waterfall now. We're going to go on the path on the left up to the top. My favourite views on the whole walk reminds you of Jurassic Park. I almost expect dinosaurs to walk in. It's a bit of a trek up, especially wearing the backpack. It's a warm day. I'm sweating buckets. It's a good old workout though. We've got a steep climb there. We made it. Here we are, East Delta. And there's a lovely cool wind now. I live over there, looking for sandwiches probably. Found a little spot by the rocks, so it's not quite so wet here. A bit more windy, but it's quite nice. Good view. This is where we're going to have a picnic, have a bit of a swim, a bit of a chill, and enjoy the afternoon. quiet and still apart from the sheep and a really nice little swim there's loads of little fish in the water though <laughs> it's a bit disconcerting they start nibbling at your feet or nibbling at your skin as soon as you stop the little ones my imagination was going riot a bit when I got out a bit deeper wondering if there were bigger fish that were going to start nibbling me <laughs> the only problem with this spot are the little midges but hopefully they won't be too much of a problem I'm just gonna have some picnic read a bit of a book and uh, relax a little bit. I've got some really old French onion soup in a sachet and I put some water in my sandy flask. We're gonna have some French onion soup and some crackers. my 
onion soup. You couldn't ask for a better view than this. Cracking way to spend the day. Thank you fishes for my clean feet. My feet are lovely now. I'm being stalked by a helicopter. The sheep aren't impressed. Not quite sure what he's up to. Looks like he might be landing. No, maybe not landing. Pretty cool view though. Oh, he's back again. Hopefully he's off now. <laughs> that was a pretty uh, cool display there. Well, that was a bit weird. <laughs> he's got stalked by a helicopter. He looked like a military one as well. Managed to make it a different colour. So, um, not quite sure what he's doing. Maybe he's just showing off or uh, checking everyone's okay. That was a pretty, uh, pretty uh, fun, exciting moment there. There's some other people swimming now. And uh, we're going to head off. It's almost five o'clock, so we're going to head off back down the mountain into Grasmere and then uh, back home. We've had a really nice day. Goodbye Lake. See you again. There's a really good shot of the stream here from the waterfall all the way from the tops of the mountains down down and down and down and you can see it winding its way round through the fells and down into Grasmere. Just check out that awesome view. I thought I'd do a bit of filming on Google Glass as well. One of the things I really like is that I can actually be walking down things like this but I can be hands free and I can take pictures as I go just by winking so I think it's going to be really great for my world's first solo row around Britain it means I can really uh, share things while I'm on the go I also really like that the Google Glass has a compass on as well so I'm actually heading northeast at the moment I don't think Ida wants to go home she's been stopping and looking at me Come on, puppy. I'm just watching the sheep. He's watching Isla. He's been shaved. He's got his little red patch. He's watching Isla. He's here. <laughs> the standoff. And now you see where we've come from. Up there. Right on the top. Following the waterfall down. It's a pretty easy path, really. Just got to be a bit careful. Isla's over there. And I, uh, I had a bit of a sleep earlier. <laughs> Unintentionally. I did have some sun lotion on and I just noticed my arms a little bit red. So I suspect I was a bit silly and got a bit of sunburn. Just the most awesome day and awesome view. Look at that over there. It's so green. Greens and blues. It feels a lot warmer now as well. so lucky to live in this part of the world. It's been quite nice not having signal on my phone as well because I couldn't even check my email so it's a bit of an enforced day off. No wonder Isla's having a great time sniffing things. There's loads of poo everywhere. 
poo here, got poo here, got a mixture of cow poo, sheep poo, rabbit poo, poo everywhere. <laughs> it's one of the problems um, with the environment really, when, the, when all the different kinds of poo wash into the streams and rivers, um, can cause a lot of nitrites, which can cause pollution. So even though it's kind of natural, you still have to be careful, especially um, in areas with lots of sheep. I just love all the bracken, something really reminiscent of my childhood, just makes me feel like I'm in the outdoors. This is the bracken here, you can just see it's like a mass bracken forest, so many uses. <laughs> There's Isla down there exploring. And the bracken just gives the whole area this really soft green look, quite soft and comfy. <laughs> And believe it or not, the word bracken is actually an old Norse name. It comes from the Vikings. Vikings everywhere, especially in Cumbria. Good morning! Good girl. You can see how the stream goes all the way down here. All the way along. It's a really little tree. I don't know what it is. I'll have to find out. It looks like it's like a bonsai, but it's not. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera here, but just up there is a wall that's been built. It's a bit of a square. Bit of an odd place to build the wall. Pretty hard work, I'd imagine. I guess it's for keeping the sheep in or showing whose land is whose. Clouds are doing really weird things today. I'm not sure if you're about to see it. There's a really weird cloud up there. Almost looks like a waterfowl if you're at sea. Move now. Separated off. There's actually a second one of those now. It's going down there and then the other one's there. The one really tired dog. I'm sure she's going to sleep all the way home on the bus. As will I. We've met so many nice people today. Always happens when we're out, especially with Isla. Everyone stops and has a little chat. It's really nice, I like that. Very friendly. <laughs> Definitely caught the sun, I can feel it now. I don't know why, when I was uh, living in the Caribbean and lived in really hot places, I never seemed to catch the sun. In the UK I seem to catch it all the time, even if I've got sun lotion on. It's going to be a really big challenge when I'm rowing solo around Britain. I have to uh, try out lots of different lotions, I think. See which one works the best. And also I don't want it to be too greasy on my hands because then it's going to be quite tricky on the oars and uh, will make rowing really difficult. I don't want it to run in my eyes as well. There's going to be quite a lot to think about. Especially over 14 weeks. 14 weeks of sun lotion. It's going to need quite a lot of budget I think as well. Clearly the one I have today just isn't cutting it and I'm not even on the sea. The lotion I have was actually Factor 50 as well. It's a children's one. <laughs> Can't believe it. Unless it's gone out of date, which I don't think it has. I bought it last summer. I would have thought it had been okay still. We're back down, almost in the valley now. Still heading down. It's a lot flatter on the path now. I really do have the best dog in the world. She's so much fun. She's pretty well behaved as well. This way. Good girl. She's pretty tired now. Good girl. Come on now. Coming back to the farm now. Just going to go through the farmland so I'll have to get back on lead. Ida come. Come here. Good girl.
like me, I know isn't very keen on walking on this stuff either. 